Hello again, this is Hans-Jürgen Clemens from Company Motic speaking. Today I'd like to talk about inverted microscopes and especially about phase contrast on our inverted microscopes A2000 on one side and A31 Elite on the other side. You know that the idea of, a f of an inverted microscope is to supply enough space for the handling of petri dishes, for microbiological cultures of cells, for example, of fungus cultures, or even ju just a simple freshwater sample. All these samples are unstained, are living samples, so they need special kind of treatment to get contrast out of them. And the idea of this contrast is the phase contrast method. You know that the phase contrast needs and requires special kind of objective. All our phase contrast objectives are marked with a green color and with an indication calling it phase one, phase two, or phase three. These objectives are bright field objectives, modified bright field objectives, which also include a phase ring evaporated inside on one special lens. This ring corresponds to the illumination ring of the condenser slider, like this one here. Both rings have to fit together, means the size has to be equivalent or at least in relation to each other. Before we start with the phase contrast, make sure that your complete alignment of the microscope is done properly for the bright field use. For the AE2000, this makes no problem at all, because we have no curler option here. So just place your sample on top of the stage and focus. That's it. For the A31 Elite, you have to do some more handlings. So place your sample on top of the stage and focus. Move the slider into an empty option. Close the field iframe, like this, and move the condenser in terms of height until you get the bright spot in the middle of your field of view. Then open the field iframe again and adjust the contrast by using the aperture diaphragm. With all these handling procedures, the Köhler setup has done properly. Now we can start with phase contrast setup. Once the bright field setup has been done, make sure that you have a phase contrast objective in the ray path and the sample in focus. Now please remove one of those eyepieces and replace it by the so-called centering telescope, which is an integral part of the standard packages. Loosen the screw, pull out the inner part, the optical part, let's say, of the centering telescope, and try to find the so-called back focal plane of the objective. This is the plane where you can realize the dark ring I was talking about before. Once you have found the dark ring, push in the correct and corresponding phase ring size. This is very simple for all our a2000 and A31 Elite models because the one phase ring called phase ring 1 is covering all phase contrast objectives from phase 10 times, 20 times and 40 times. Once you have placed in the correct illumination ring, you will realize both rings, the dark ring of the, the objective and the bright ring, the bright illumination ring of the slider. This can be observed, as I said before, through the centering telescope. You can imagine that both rings have to be superposed exactly. For this, please use the Allen keys, push them into the flange of the slider, and by observing through the centering telescope, move the illumination ring up to the point where both rings are superposed perfectly. Finally, of course, I have to remove the centering telescope again and replace it by the normal eyepiece. Finally, I like to repeat that phase contrast is especially meant for thin and or unstained specimen. And this is of course valid for upright uh, microscope models. So please make sure that if you want to have a satisfying image quality, your sample is really thin and unstained. Thick and stained specimen will not be covered by a phase contrast. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it gave you some helpful information. More information you can find on our website www.moticeurope.com and of course you find us on YouTube channel. You're invited to visit us on our social media platforms. Thanks again for your attention. <music>